Hi guys, today I'm reviewing Perfect Curves Cellulite Cream. I gave this product one out of five stars. It cost on Amazon at this moment $15. So for 8.1 ounces, that is about $1.85 per ounce. Um, I think it's on sale at the moment, so the price could change. Um, but $15 is very, very inexpensive for eight ounces or 8.1. Um, that's a very great, super duper inexpensive cost. Just remember, like I said, I gave it a one out of five stars. So you are getting what you pay for. This product has kind of an off-white color. I don't even want to touch it because I don't like it. Um, it's kind of like a just a creamy lotion. It actually spreads easily and nicely on the skin. Um, I can't say it feels good though because right when you put it on, it creates like this burning sensation. Um, in the bottle, it actually smells, you think it's going to just smell like fresh and clean, which isn't too bad at all. And then once you apply it, it kind of has a weird scent to it. Um, and it's not necessarily the, my favorite. I would say it's a little bit stinky. Um, and you are supposed to apply it twice daily, morning and evening, according to their directions. Um, I applied it in the morning right after I got out of the shower and I lathered it up on my thighs and my butt and my stomach, which are my problem areas. So yours might be different. Um, and I would say within 10, 15 minutes, my skin was so itchy. It was had this really, really burning sensation. It wasn't just a warming sensation. It was burning and tingly and itchy and irritated. And I thought, okay, well, this might go away. Well, it just got worse and worse, and it lasted for quite some time. And what's even worse than that is it probably took about 10, 15 minutes for it to fully dry. Um, so that means, like, as it's lathered up on this area of my body, as I'm getting ready in the morning, I always wash my hands after I apply cellulite cream because I don't want to get it in my eyes or on my face or anywhere I don't want it. Unfortunately, because I was still damp, if I happened to brush up against wherever the lotion was still damp and then touch somewhere else on my skin, that area would start to burn. And I ended up burning on my face and burning all over and it was so irritating and so frustrating that I only used this product a couple of times and I just decided I have to give it quits. Um, it was far too painful, irritating, and uncomfortable for me. So with saying that, the results, I really didn't get to experience results other than itchy, burning, irritated skin um, because I only used it a couple of times. So I did not have short-term results. I did not have long-term results. I didn't have any results. And for such a affordable product, I was actually a little bit excited to give it a shot. Um, and it was definitely a major bummer because this is one of the worst products I have tried and I would not suggest trying it. But if you are courageous enough to give it a shot, make sure to wash your hands thoroughly and not to touch wherever the lotion is so you do not get this burning stuff in your eyes. Um, one of the ingredients that causes the uh, warming sensation, I'm going to say it wrong, it's called vanillyl butyl ether. Basically, it's the same family as the ingredients that they use for pepper spray. So if you want to imagine that sort of burning all over your skin, it's kind of like that. At least it was for me, so definitely not worth it. I couldn't find a money back guarantee for this product, which is another major bummer, but I did purchase it from Amazon and typically I have good results if I contact them and say I don't like the product and I wanna return it. So typically with them, you have about 30 days on most products. With this specific seller, I, I wasn't able to find anything written down about a guarantee or a money back promise. Um, overall, I gave it a one out of five stars because it was very unfortunate and there really wasn't anything positive about it. Um, if you want more information, please visit us at cellulite.com, Facebook, and Twitter.